and violence and other kind of violence. Today, tens of thousands of people are marching against gun violence throughout America, including hundreds right here in the Twin Cities. The March for Our Lives push comes after deadly mass shootings in Uvalde, Texas and Buffalo, New York. Many attending say they want to see a ban on the sale of assault weapons and universal background checks in stated across the country. It's heartbreaking. I mean, there's just no, no way to express it in words, I think. Um, but I think there's not only sadness, but anger. And we've become so desensitized to gun violence and mass shootings that coming to protests like this is like hopefully a way to like help dissolve that. Tonight on our news at 6, how gun lobbying groups are reacting to today's rally. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comments section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Father Yah, in your name we pray. Amid tears and prayers for peace and comfort, those who knew and loved 15 year old Dariana Davis gathered to make sense of her death. She's 15. Like, what happened? What happened? According to the Anoka County Sheriff's Office, police responded to reports of a shooting at this Columbia Heights apartment building Thursday night where Davis was pronounced dead at the scene. Her mother, Ashley Davis. I haven't been asleep since the police knocked on the door. Says she was here visiting with friends. Schoolmates, all schoolmates. After going to get her hair done Thursday afternoon. It's a lot of different stories going around and they all minors. So they're just trying to figure it out. And it's the unknown centered around this tragic loss for Davis's close friend, Kiara Story. She's just like my second daughter. Which is troubling. But I know that she'd um, run away a couple times. She did not deserve anything like this. She had plans. She had a future ahead of her, a good head on her shoulders. Just like bright, very smart, got good grades in school a good friend. Columbia Heights Public Schools, where Davis was a sophomore, released a statement extending their condolences, saying in part, gun violence has taken too many loved ones from our families, and we are deeply saddened by this death. I need whoever did this to turn themselves in. One, two, three. I'm I'm Another young life full of potential falling victim to these senseless acts of gun violence. But a child that's being murdered like that, uh, somebody may know something within the apartment building and they should and they need to come forward. The Anoka County Sheriff's Office says this is an ongoing investigation. They said they did question two teenagers here at the scene during the incident, but they were then released. They're asking anyone with information that could lead to an arrest to give them a call. In Columbia Heights, Devon Roming, Carol Levin News. Gang violence and other kind of violence.